Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video in our devlog series for Grounded. Update 0.9.0 came out today, and so now here we are with the new vlog. My name is Shyla Schofield, and I am the social media manager here at Obsidian Entertainment. Now let's get started. Ready to add to that wonderful base of yours? Well, if not, then perhaps this new bit of content may change your mind and put you in the building mood. Now what makes me say that? Well, how about the addition of new curved grass and stem walls and floors, plus some curved railings? I mean, 90 degree angles are cool and all, but so is not having a corner. And okay, I get that while walls are cool, you want more, right? Well, how about in addition to giving you zip lines and stairs like we have in past updates, what if we let you go to different floors by going straight up with ladders? Now you can go up and down and up and down to your heart's content, similar to the bounce pads, but with much more control. For those of you who can't wait to hop into creative mode and start checking out all these new items, don't be surprised if you see a few insects in your game. We have now added passive, docile friends for you to hang out with while you work on your dream base. Finally, you have your base complete and invited your friends over to check it out? Time for a group photo! That's right, you can now use photo mode in multiplayer and check out some new poses we included as well. Have fun capturing all those wonderful memories together. One of the first things you may notice the next time you start the game is that all related game save files have been grouped together. This change will allow you to find your games easier so you can get into the backyard quicker. Something else you may notice is that the team has been reevaluating the current state and are working to implement changes to improve your time in the game, such as changes made to how items are grouped together in the building radials and the full screen menu as well. All similar types of items, such as all the walls, all the floors, all the food items, etc., are now grouped together, making them easier to locate. Speaking of easier to locate, we've also made items easier to take, such as items that have finished on the spinning wheel. You can now run up and grab all of your finished resources to store them more efficiently. Along with the changes mentioned earlier, the team has been hard at work making tweaks and modifications to how combat works in the game to make sure that fighting feels as good as possible. One of the first changes you will notice is that you're now able to cancel attack animations when you want to by blocking, giving you more freedom and helping you to block when you really need to, which for me should be way more often than I'm doing. Another thing you will notice is that we changed the time when stamina is going to be used for attacks. Since we are now allowing blocking to cancel attack, we adjusted things on the back end to make the stamina cost happen when you start the attack now. This means that even if you cancel with a block, your stamina will still go down a tiny nudge, so just something to keep in mind. Also, to enhance the feeling of the game, we have now made it so that lure traps and spike traps will now take damage as the enemies use them. Which honestly makes a lot of sense. Now remember last time how we updated the combat music for spiders? Well, we felt that that wasn't enough, so we went ahead and added new combat music for fighting weaker critters, such as mites, spiderlings, and water fleas. Just be careful not to get swarmed when you go check it out. Lastly, one of my favorite critters, the handsome stink bug, was just updated with the new attack. Enjoy! This and so much more came out with today's update, so if you want to see the full list, be sure to check out the link in the description down below for the patch notes. Y'all are so awesome, and the team wants to thank every single one of you for your continued support and assistance during this game preview early access development period. Without all of your suggestions and feedback, 
we wouldn't be able to continue developing the game that we all want to play. So thank you. As always, we want you to know that while we continue to work on the backyard, there may come a time when things change and it could interrupt your base. We are always doing what we can to prevent this. And we want to thank all of you for your understanding as we continue to work to make the backyard the best it can be. Before I end this, just so you know, if you haven't yet, feel free to join one of our many communities Listen in the description down below of this video and reach out to us. We are always listening. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you out in the backyard. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay grounded.